Hi, it's Tara. I'm doing like a whole bunch of videos in a row because I have time. And I realized that I did not um, show some of these things that I bought in France that were kind of cute and I'm enjoying. Um, so I thought I'd show it to you right now. One of them is this. Uh, this is like a really, I went to visit Saint-Chapelle. Saint-Chapelle is like an outstandingly beautiful uh, stained glass um, chapel that is in Paris. It's uh, not Notre Dame, not Notre Dame, which is under repair and we couldn't visit it. We could only see part of the facade when I was there um, this December, last December. Um, but I saw Saint-Chapelle and I have to say that if you're claustrophobic, you might not want to go because there's a lot of people and the chapel is pretty small, but the stained glass is outstanding. So, uh, but it's just not peaceful, you know what I mean? Because there's tons of people milling around and there's no place to sit basically. <clears throat> but if you like, if you're a aficionado of stained glass, oh, it's just, it's, I would say 75% of that place is stained glass and it's all different scenes from the, from Bible, from Kings, from everything. It's just like, I could not, I took like maybe 150 pictures of that chapel. I just, it just was so much to take in and it was just astoundingly beautiful. Also in the afternoons, they actually had this one uh, program where they're invited like a, a DJ, an electronics DJ, uh, to play music while the, the uh, you know, people are visiting in the chapel. So I didn't get to see that because of timing. I went there early in the morning uh, trying to beat the crowds, but you know, it's Paris. So no matter what, there's it's always crowded. But one of the things that I really liked and I brought back, and you're able to buy these there, is little panels of stained glass. So this is one of the smallest that they had. And I only got this, you can get quite large ones, like really large ones, like, you know, dinner plate size ones or something like that as well, of all different scenes and stuff. But I got this one, this one is called Winged Heart. So um, yeah, so this basically, um, uh, it was, it's traditional stained glass and it comes with um, like a suction cup. Um, let's see. So it comes with a suction cup that you can um, attach to it separately and um, you can put it on a window, but I'm not going to put it on a suction cup because I don't think the suction cup is going to be that um, secure. So I'm going to attach it to the wall with a hook um, that I get like a stronger hook that is like pressed into the wall so I don't drop this. It's, this is very delicate. So I love this because even though it's very small, um, it's well made and you can see the expression on the, the person's face right there and it's very beautiful. So I'm gonna hang this up in my room. It, it really brightens up my mood. I think this is just the perfect size. Because um, having all stained glass is actually kind of oppressive because it makes things very dark. But to have something like this is very brightening. So I really liked it. Um, another thing that I bought from there is this. So I have really thin hair and it's always been a pain for me. So there was this uh, brand called Chlorine and they have this in the pharmacies there. And basically this one has keratin in it. So it has keratin, zinc, selenium, and vitamin B. And there's 30 capsules in, in one, in one of these packs. And I bought a pack of like three or four or five or something like that. So this is supposed to help supplement my hair to make, make it stronger. I haven't actually bought it like three months ago, but I haven't had the nerve to actually like, um, try it because I'm kind of scared. But one of these days for sure, I'm going to start taking it and then we'll, I'll do a review to see if it like makes any difference. <clears throat> uh, another thing that I really like that I bought there is this. So this is this really cute like um, bread delivery truck um, that it's it has working wheels and it's just like really adorable and I love it because um, inside it has some cookies like uh, chocolate cookies 
with the sandy texture. And um, these are, um, I took it out and ate them like, those disappeared like right away. And then I, I'm putting my um, my perfumes in them. Um, the travel sprays that I'm getting from like uh, Fragrance Net. Um, so I have uh, Hermes Bleu de Narcisse, Narcisse Bleu, uh, Dior Joy Intense. So I really love Joy, the new Joy. You know, I know a lot of people hate it, but I really like it. I have the, um, regular joy and I have the joy intense. It's just like sparkly and, and happy. <clears throat> this one is um, Serge Luton Vetiver Oriental. So this is the one of the last Serge Lutons that I don't have in my collection. This is kind of an interesting like a syrupy kind of fruity vetiver. <clears throat> interesting. I didn't realize it would be gourmand. But yeah, that's an interesting surprise. And then also, <clears throat> I have this uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, Scandal by Night. Um, that one's like a fruity uh, honey um, tuberose. Very sultry. <clears throat> Another thing that I have is this. Um, okay, so I've... This is my first... Um, 